hi welcome back to the channel it's nice to have you all back again rockstars today we are going to be reacting to this unique show from her finland website and the link will be in the description below guys today's title is 10 tiny things that annoy Finns. i've known finnish people to be these you know people that keep to themselves and they've got you know humility they don't just like you know entering their private space but when i saw this i was like oh what are the exact same things that annoy things? I just was so curious to know. So guys, without further ado, let's jump right in. Moi! Welcome moi. to Moi! I'm guessing Moi means hi! In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tiny, tiny things that annoy Finnish people. Now, I want to talk about these things because it's most likely that you wouldn't know that that Finn in question is annoyed because we rarely show expressive faces in oh, Finland. Really? So in, sometimes it happens that we do correct you, but most likely you won't be ever confronted about these tiny mishaps. So let's go to the list. My name is Varbo and I'm the founder of Her Finland. I help you get to know Finnish culture and lifestyle and also the language. If you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So let's go. Firstly, let's talk about sauna. You should never leave the sauna door open. Really? The no sauna one, door? You should do this. So when you go into the sauna and you throw the water, you should never leave immediately after it. You should sit and enjoy or uh, try to suffer <laughs> the steam that comes out of that uh, water bucket. So you never leave after you just throw some water. If you say to Finn, we should meet sometimes or we should hang out, Finns take this very literally. So you should be prepared to actually follow up and have that planned in your calendar. Another thing that makes Finnish people annoyed is making noise. This is true to any public transport vehicle. When you are commuting, it's often enjoyed silently together, this communal, peaceful, silent train trip. Not making noises also applies when you are living in apartment building. Finnish apartment buildings are very, very silent places. Have you been in a university classroom in Finland or have you been in a public transport vehicle in Finland? You will see this very weird seating game going on. So the point is, nobody wants to sit next to each other and it's quite funny. The normal way when you enter a vehicle, for example, you will try to find a separate seating that is quite remote from everybody else so that everybody is scarcely populating the vehicle. Only when it comes full, you are sitting next to each other. Next, I have two things that you actually might be corrected. So if you say that Finland is a Scandinavian country, most likely you will be corrected that no, Finland is a Nordic country. Another thing Finns are very passionate about is that Santa lives in Finland. Santa lives in Lapland, not in North Pole, not in Greenland, not in anywhere else except Finland. My next point is quite normal in many countries, but uh, there's a Finnish twist to it. So you should never ask anybody's salary in Finland, but in Finland, unlike in most places, you can actually find this out by yourself. So you just need to call the tax office and say the person's name and place and they will tell you how much uh, they had income on the previous year. For this next one, I'm really excited to know if this is true to your culture. So I have uh, noticed that in Finland you can criticize your own village or town, but you get annoyed when somebody else who doesn't live there makes those same uh, remarks about it. So let me know in the comment if this is true to your culture. Can you criticize only your own home, village or town or can you criticize any place? This next one shouldn't be no surprise to you as Finns love, love, love coffee, but it is a shock if there's no coffee left for a Finnish person. In workplaces, it's very popular to have some kind of system that makes sure that everybody gets their daily dose of caffeine. There aren't many people in Finland as 
Finland is such a small country and for Finnish people a crowd is already two people. This is quite visible when P Finnish people are referring to traffic jams or, or horrible queues. It might just be that there are two people in front of you but we are already annoyed by this fact. Haha, <laughs> here comes bonus. So it's food related. Um, there are typical food combos in Finland and if we miss out on the other one it is a problem and we get annoyed. For example, if we are grilling a sausage, then we would be upset if we forget the mustard. Here is my list of 10 things that annoy Finnish people. I would love to know if any of these things is true to you. Let me know which thing annoys you the most in the comments and let's have a discussion. Wow, guys! Now, I can relate to some of these things she mentioned, like the, you know, avoiding crowd and also loving their coffee so much i know Finns love their coffee a lot i've also learned that Finns avoid crowded spaces just they don't just like the body contact too much body contact especially if you're an outsider or somebody that they don't know probably you might have this contact with a family member yes but for somebody that you've never met they just don't like that body contact and i think that is not just Finns. Some other cultures also do that, you know, because not everybody likes this body contact thing. And also there's something I also agree with this. I don't know if you could remember the last video I posted about five things to avoid in Finland. And she talked about, you know, this Finnish people avoiding crowded spaces. And she gave an example for the bus station, like when you're waiting for the bus, Finnish people don't like that close contact. And I think that is also what this lady said. To the best of my knowledge, it's not everybody that also likes that as well, right? So this is really relatable. But the one that I'm not quite sure if it happens in most cultures is the sound part of it. My friends in the house, I'm really, really addicted to your shows and comedies. Guys, thanks so much. I love reacting to your shows. I love reacting to your comedies. Please do well to subscribe if you're coming across this channel for the first time. And also do well to like and share to your beautiful family and friends. Let me know what you think about these 10 tiny things, you know, that annoy things in the comment section. Do you think all of them are true or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.